Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves, and it's Hachimura in at the three spot. And for Toronto, they've got Gary Trent, also Emmanuel quickly out there. Barrett is out there with Kelly Olenek, and it's Abaji in at power forward. If you like fast-paced open court basketball, Smitty, then this is the right game for you. That's for sure. These teams are excellent at scoring in transition. After every turnover, even after every rebound, these teams are going to try to get out and run. So the Lakers will get the first possession. Russell against quickly. Pass to Davis. Shoots over Olenek. And there's Davis. That's good on the assist by LeBron. This is the thing. You can get up in AD's shirt, try to affect the shot, but his size allows him to shoot right over you. Now, here's quickly. And the foul on Rui Hachimura. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Abaji. Covered by LeBron. LeBron with the block. Davis inside. He's against Olenek. Here's Reeves. Outside for Davis. Six to shoot. Russell from long range. It's hauled in by Trent. And here's Toronto. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Pass to Quickly. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. That's something you hate. You're trying to come in with an aggressive mindset, and that early foul could take you right out of it. And so it's Hachimura who brings up the ball for the Lakers. Here's Reeves. Back to LeBron. Outside, Russell. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Here's Davis. And it's Toronto with the rebound. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Now, here's Barrett. That one's no good. 0 of 1 to begin the game. Lakers have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. If we look at the Raptors, Smitty, it has not been easy replicating the success they had back in 2019. Yeah, Toronto's had a bit of a roller coaster ride since then. They've had some good seasons, but the consistency hasn't been there for them. Here's Barrett following the basket by LeBron James. The nasty streak is coming out for Anthony Davis, taking pride on the defensive end. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Davis has got his second bucket of the game to go. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. So timeout called here. The first for Toronto. The Lakers beat them last time when these two teams met in Los Angeles. Yeah, and what a gut wrencher it was for them last time they met. Ended up on the losing side in that one.
And a quick review looking at some numbers here for Russell. Tenth and three-point field goal percentage. And his playmaking ability unquestioned. One of the top 15 assist men in our league. And back to his efficiency from three. As you said, he's top 10 in the league. Defenses are now trying to deny him the basketball. Uh, but really to no avail. Trying to end the drought. Barrett, no good. Yeah, scoreless here early after their first four shots. They right now are searching for a bucket. Up again, and it's Russell with that extra effort. The uncanny ability to time the tip in. He does this night in and night out. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Barrett. The pass to Olenek. Fires for three. Reeves with the rebound. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. Passes it to Davis. Good on the shot. And that's now six points for Anthony Davis. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. And here's Barrett. Banked in off the glass. And you like the toughness there. Barrett being more comfortable having to deal with an aggressive defense. Russell looking it over. Right wing. Here's Hachimura. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. For the Raptors, their last game a loss to New York. Trent passes to Olenek. And that's out of bounds. Toronto will retain possession. Russell against quickly. Five on the clock over Russell. And nice hustle by Russell, trying to make himself into more of a two way player. And you know, Greg, they call him IQ. Instant offense is Emmanuel quickly. Yeah, and he puts points on the board quickly. <laughs> no pun intended. A volume three point shooter and has a deadly little floater in the lane. His shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. Quickly against Russell. Now quickly. Still scoreless. Here's Abaji. James covering. We have a step back. A rebound by the Lakers. Feated by the Pacers in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. When they ran the offense right, they found some easy shots, but on that occasion, it was few and far between. You know, they take one step forward, two steps back, and exercise in frustration. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Here's Trent. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Have to respect the persistence from Gary Trent Jr. Not caving in to the defense when he gets hit. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Lakers. Well, it's tough to score when you're getting stuffed on every attempt. Great job getting the hands up so far, making life difficult on shooters. And let's also give them some credit for running the break so well. They're making the most of their chances to score in transition. And Trent, no good on that one. And as the season draws to a close, GA, we've got teams vying for playoff position, only adding to the importance of each game now.
And for those teams, you have to have the right mentality. You can't treat these like normal regular season games. These are an extension of the playoffs. Now, here's quickly. Still without a basket. Pass to Olenek. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Attacking the heart of that defense. I like this from Olenek. Not just hanging out on the perimeter. Up top, Russell. Quickly covering. And it's Russell missing. Hard to create space in that mid-range area. He would have been better passing that off. Pass to Quickly. Here's Abaji. Quickly with it. Over Russell. And it's Quickly missing. Outside, Davis. Russell finds Davis. Over quickly. Toronto grabs the miss. Here's Abaji. And Davis sends it back. And so the ball out of bounds. Davis touched it last. Some changes for Toronto. Porter's checked in for Olenek. And Dick subbed in for Trent. Here's quickly. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Now here is Davis. His last outing, he had 24 points. Reeves gets the bucket. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the pay. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. And the Raptors call time here. A tough loss coming against New York in their last game played. Yeah, I mean, in that one, you really saw a difference in aggression between the two teams, particularly on the boards. You know, you can't allow that many second-chance opportunities and then get almost none yourself. Rarely that works out for you. And some changes here for the Raptors. Wara checked in, and it's McDaniels in for R.J. Barrett. The Lakers also changing it up. Torian Prince, he's checked in for Hachimura. And it's Reddish in for Austin Reeves. Mora, the pass to Porter. Here's Brown, and finished off by Brown. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, G.A., right when your teammate makes that kind of play. The problem is your opponent is making big plays as well. I'll be curious to see the response. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. Dick passes to Brown. And the pass to Dick. Just five to shoot. 
And that's out of bounds. Toronto will retain possession. The Lakers making a switch here. Dinwiddie's checked in. Here's Dick. Good, and a nice assist from Porter. Well, the, the pick didn't exactly neutralize the defender, but, but good concentration on the finish to still get the basket. Now here's Davis. 12 points for him. James, the pass to Prince, and it's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Great energy on the deflection and a good job disrupting their offense. This is called an effort play. Terrific hustle at the defensive end. Here is Davis. He's a guy we see deliver on a nightly basis, averaging about 24 and a half points a game. And despite that miss, a strong start for them offensively. Now here's McDaniels. Following the miss by Anthony Davis. Passes it to Brown. He kicks it to Porter. Brown drives in. Basket counts. Brown's got his second bucket. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. James looking around. Loads it up for Davis. That's oh. a great dunk. Freakish. Yes. Athletically. Unbelievable play. Wow. You won't find a much better alley you partner. AD flying to the rim. Raptors trail by nine. Here's Nora. No scoring in this one. This one for three. The Lakers with the rebound. Davis has got rebound number five here tonight. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy, and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. He gets that one, and it's an 11-point Los Angeles lead. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Brown the pass to Nora. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. Lakers leading by nine. LeBron outside. Pass to Reddish. Porter against Davis. Over Porter. And it's Davis missing. High percentage look for him. But bottom line, they're not all going to go down. Brown kicks to McDaniels. Six on the shot clock. Outside Porter. Launches it from deep. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And when you are as good a shooter as he is, you have to have the confidence to take that shot. It might not always fall. You know what another option is? Just give the ball up. Let someone else make a play. Now, here's Dinwiddie. Boy, he just disappeared against Indiana, and they really needed him. And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. This is my type of approach. Get some high percentage looks. Then later, you can play inside out. Davis against Porter. The kick out to Brown. Got it. Good job in the low post. Brown's got six points. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the D thinking jump shot. Gave a little pump fake and then off to the races. The fader. Here's Davis. And the basket is good. And he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Davis does so much for this team. One of his best characteristics, making his presence felt on the glass. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. And, and you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last outing. Los Angeles making a switch here. Hayes is checked in. Yeah. 
That one misses for Davis. The physical gifts Anthony Davis possess are just undeniable. He was built to cause havoc down low with his long arms and broad build. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. The Raptors shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. First free throw is good. Christie, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Both shots good from the strike. There's 53 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Dinwiddie for three. They get it again. And Hayes kicks to Dinwiddie. Now here's Reddish. Clock at six. Second chance shot. Got a hand on it. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. Thirty five seconds left to play in the first quarter. Dean Witty for three. Toronto grabs the miss. McDaniels in the post. Guarded by Reddish. Oh, that's a major league throwdown. Keeps a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. Here now is Dean Witty. 11 seconds left in the first quarter. Shot clock at six. From past the arc, bangs home the trifecta. Dinwiddie's got five now. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Anthony Davis firing on all cylinders for the Los Angeles Lakers. Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. Right back after this break. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And from what we've seen so far from the Lakers, guys, what are your thoughts? I love their effort, contesting shots, trying to intimidate here early on. And you can see it's already having an impact. It can cause shooters to think twice. Raptors trail by 10. We've got Kelly Olenek. Emmanuel quickly out there with Gary Trent. Then it's R.J. Barrett. And it's Abaji in at the four-man position. That's the five out there for the Raptors. Trent kicks to quickly. A step-back shot here. He can't get that one. Los Angeles leading by 10. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Spencer Dinwiddie has talked about buying into his role. He says you have to have confidence that's borderline irrational, but a perspective that's very realistic. 
You've got to know who you are. Kevin, he adds that he's not attempting to be a Mount Rushmore type guy, but a talented player who can help a winning team. That's a good perspective, David. Thanks for the story. The Lakers with the ball after the Raptors pick up two. Reeves the pass to Hachimura. Hayes dishes to Russell. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Smitty, who are some of your favorite teammates during your 14 years in the league? Kevin, there's so many. Glenn Rice, Dikembe Mutombo, Ronnie Cycli, Kevin Willis, Stacey Allman, Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, and the list goes on. And that one misses. And the second free throw, good. Raptors trailed by nine. Now, quickly. Pass to Barrett. Over Christie. No basket with that shot. Having trouble finding his range, he's one for five. And, and they continue to control the glass. Outside, Russell. Shoots. Gets an open look and hits. Russell's got five now. Beautiful jumper by Russell. Just nice, relaxed shooting motion. It's like a walk in the park. Trent passes to Abaji. Now, here's quickly. For the three. It's rebounded by Hayes. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Hachimura down low. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. And the Lakers lead by 13. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Trent. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Greg, one thing you know, you're getting with Gary Trent Jr., volume three-point shooting. He lets it fly. And he is really fearless at the arc. I think because of his consistency. And when he gets hot, well, he can get on a burner. And the first one at the line is good. Solid from the line. Trent Jr., an all-around score. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Los Angeles. James comes in for Christie. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. They've led by as many as 14 points. And it's Davis missing. Mm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. Barrett against Hachimura. And Olenek kicks to Trent. Now the pass to Abaji. Five to shoot. And the rejection.
action by James. That was well timed. It's hard to out anticipate LeBron. Now, any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed, and that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor, got to the rim, and made a play. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. Greg is a guy that led the offense, a floor general. Do you think we're in the golden era of point guards? Kevin, it's hard to say. I mean, the 80s had Magic and Isaiah. The, the 90s had Stockton and Peyton. The 2000s with Nash and Kidd. But this era is deep. You got Curry, Lillard, Doncic, Morant, and, of course, CP3 is still going. Russell passes to Hachimura. Trent against LeBron. James slams it in. And making it look easy, LeBron overwhelms the defense inside. Quickly with it. With a floater. And Davis sends it back. Russell against Barrett. Baseline jumper. No good off the back of the rim. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. Off target from three-point range. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. And he's going to have a hard time shaking off that miss. Everything was going right. The dunk was lined up beautifully, but not to be. And the call will be against R.J. Barrett. That's his first foul. Here is Russell. Five points in the game. Outside, Davis. Passes it to Hachimura. Here's Reeves, defended by Trent. And it's Davis with the jam. His offensive bag goes very deep. AD is so effective on that end. And the Raptors call time here. Anthony Davis really making a difference here. You know, he's been a one-man wrecking crew down low. His consistent scoring has dictated the pace of this game. We'll see if they decide to front him, bring a quick double, or maybe even both to try to slow him down. And a chance here to see the numbers for Davis. Unbelievable play for him over the last month. And he's right up there in the top 20 in scoring. Certainly a force to be reckoned with offensively. And again, look what he's done so far this season. Wiping the boards clean. Ranking second in the league in rebounds. Outstanding effort. Now, here's quickly. Now just one for seven with that miss. Tough night so far. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Davis finds Russell to the left side wing. Here's Reeves. Makes it off the glass. Reeves has got his second basket of the game. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Pass to Olenek. Back to quickly. 
There's another block. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Shot to stop the run. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. He's having a tough quarter scoring the basketball and able to help them close this gap. Raptors trailed by 19. Abaji the pass to quickly. Looking to end his cold spell. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's on D'Angelo Russell. Uh, I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. This is his first free throw of the game. At about an 82% clip a season ago, so I'm sure he'll take those numbers. The free throw drops for quickly. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. Dix check in for Trent. So he gets them both. The Lakers on offense. They're on a 13 to 4 run. Loads it up for Davis. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley oop. Here's Abaji. James covering. And it's quickly missing. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Barrett against Russell. Pass to Reeves. Here's the three. Drills it from outside. Reeves has got five points now in the quarter. And I like Russell's ability to create for others. He does what's best for the team. Back to quickly. And there's the pass to Dick. Feeds it to Olenek. Six to shoot. Over Davis. That one wide left. Both sides attacking. That was good defense versus good offense. Kicks it out to James. Outside Russell. The layup missed. It's amazing. All night he's been out of sync on the offensive end, yet they continue to lead. Now, here's Quickly. He's got five. Here's Dick. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Davis has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. A foul won't scare King James off. He gets assertive and takes the shot. Los Angeles shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And he makes the first. LeBron James has always been a team first guy. He will score it, rebound it, and pass it. And the Lakers with some changes. Torian Prince, he's checked in for Hachimura. Reddish comes in for Austin Reeves. And Dinwiddie's subbed in for Russell. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. 
some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And that one drops for him. Diggs got his second basket. And here's Los Angeles. They're on an 18-6 run. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And a chance now to look at the schedule for the Raptors. On Sunday, they'll be matching up against Kyle Lowry and the Philadelphia 76ers. Then on Tuesday, they'll go up against LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers. First one falls for him. And didn't have a single free throw in that first quarter, but he started to play with a little bit more of an edge to his game here in the second. And both free throws, good for James. Now, Dick. Passes to Nora. Puts it up from 12. Here's Brown. He blocks it again. You've got to have a better effort against him. Sending back everything. Then Woody shot is off. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Raptors. They host the 76ers after this game. And that'll be the fourth of this five-game homestand. And there's the drive. And finished off by Brown. Never a bad idea to run the old kick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, we'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. James outside. Pass to Davis. Let's it go. And the bank shot is good. Davis has got six here in this quarter. I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Brown deciding where to go with it. Here's Nora, covered by LeBron. And take a look at this list. Every team loves to have guys like these. Big men who can pass like guards. These are their assist totals on the season. LeBron James third. And these are some of the most complete players in our league. I mean, they're not just traditional score and rebound big men. They can beat you with their passing as well. Whether it's starting to break with a fantastic pass or kicking it out to a wide-open teammate, these fellas have a knack for passing the basketball. And the first one drops. Jackson A's. He's checked in for James. That one is no good. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Dinwiddie outside. Down low. Just five on the clock. Here's Prince. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. 
Torian Prince takes the hit, maintains focus. He's a tough individual. One thing, Greg, you notice about Torian Prince, he can play anywhere against anyone. And he's a versatile player who gives you just a ton of effort. Drop Prince into any lineup, any scheme, and he's going to find a way to affect the game. A little undersized at the four, but he can get off the ground. One forty-four left in the first half. Loads it up for Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. Off the pick and roll, A.D. used his size and took full advantage. Dick with it. And Davis sends it back. They get it back. Here's Porter. Again with the block. And that's nine blocks. You know he's going to be coming hard for that tenth, too. Poked away. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Now let's take a look at some of the numbers for LeBron James. And guys, this effective field goal percentage is trending in the wrong direction over the past five games. Shot discipline hasn't been the best. He'll be looking to play a smarter game tonight. Now here's Dinwiddie. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 23 points. And that one is good. And if you look at this first half, overall, they've just had the better shot selection. What they have done is ran their plays all the way through until they get something they like. And it's Brown missing. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. Dinwiddie dishes to Reddish. Porter with a block. Here's Dick. Guarded by Reddish. Dick, that's good. Here now is Dinwiddie. Seven points in the game. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. He dishes it to Reddish. Lays it up off the glass. Reddish has got his second basket of the game. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Here's Dick. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. And so it's Los Angeles. Holding a very comfortable 25-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. A tremendous game we're seeing from Anthony Davis. He ended up with 26 points, 11 rebounds, and one steal. He's in a crazy zone right now and seems to be even hotter than he was in their last game. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. And the game plan they went with was very clear. It was centered around scoring inside. Pound that ball inside, pound it in the paint, try to get the high percentage shot. And because of this assertive attitude, they've got the edge where it counts on the scoreboard. Shaq, what was your takeaway on Toronto? Well, they're not finding good shots, and that starts with their ball movement. Too much hero basketball. They need to sharpen up the attack. More motion, quick cuts, get the ball inside. There's no way they're coming back with that type of play. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer.
And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You look at Anthony Davis in this game, he's been everywhere. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. They're asking a lot of him, shouldering the load in a number of areas. You just hope he has enough left at the end. Here's quickly. Checking out the group now for Darvin Ham to start the second half. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. And it's Hachimura in at the three. That one goes in. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. Now here's James. You know, the attention LeBron James demands left his teammate open there, and he found him. Toronto shooting poorly, just 35% so far. Now, here's quickly. Porter kicks to Trent. That one doesn't go. Good D by LeBron. And here's Los Angeles. Pass to Reeves. Lent it go with a three. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. James has got six assists in the game. Reeves has gone four of five shooting from the field. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks very much, Kevin. Toronto has a new head coach in Darko Rajakovic. He started coaching at 16 in his home country of Serbia. So even though he's still young, he's already a lifer. In his near decade as an NBA assistant coach, he made a name for himself in player development. And of course, Kevin, that's going to be essential now with the rebuilding Raptors. It is, but I love his resume. His story is terrific. He is just what they need. David, thank you. Now, Trent, following the three-point attempt by Anthony Davis. Here's quickly. And it's off from three-point range. And it's Davis with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Now here is Hachimura. Off target with the jump hook. Once he gets the ball there, you expect him to capitalize. That was a missed opportunity. Trent gets the bucket. What a tough finish with all that contact. When Gary's doing damage inside, it's scary. Here's Reeves, defended by Trent. Porter with a block. And so the ball's out of bounds. Hachimura touched it last. Here's our 2K leaderboard with the list of the teams that have been on fire from beyond the arc over the past month. The Lakers second. Their perimeter shooters are just nailing everything right now. This is an outstanding display of shooting. And the Raptors call time here. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort.
And Toronto making a change here. Abaji's checked in. As the playoffs near, let's take a look at the Eastern Conference standings. Taking a look at Toronto, their season nearly over unless a form of miracle happened. And I think for Toronto, they haven't gotten anywhere near where they wanted to be this season. Pretty clear there's a big talent gap between them and the true contenders. And we've all thought this. They're just a middle-of-the-road team. The last thing anyone in the NBA wants to be. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Here's Reeves. He's got 10. Kicks to Russell. Loads it up for Davis and finished off by Davis. You see the weight that AD's added to his frame over the years now invites contact. Now, quickly. Nine points in the game so far. To the paint, Trent. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Reeves has got rebound number five here tonight. LeBron, good. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. The pass to Olenek. Quickly against Russell. Olenek has the open look. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Matching baskets from the perimeter, an earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Here's Reeves. Here's Hachimura. And there's the whistle, three-second violation. And let's take a look now at the numbers for Hachimura. He's definitely been getting it done since the All-Star break. And not many players convert opportunities inside as well as he. Top 15 in field goal percentage. And back to his efficiency from three, as you said, he's top 10 in the league. Defenses are now trying to deny him the basketball, uh, but really to no avail. And what you like about Barrett is his all-around game, a versatile guard slash forward who wants to keep improving. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Lakers. They are dominating the paint in this one. Consistent work inside throughout the game. And on top of that, they're getting a lot of points off assists. And it's always a good sign when your team is working as a cohesive unit. And that one falls for Barrett. And so Barrett nails both of them. The Lakers have gone four of seven to get things started here in the second half. Here's Reeves, defended by Trent. Reeves gets the bucket. Reeves has got five points now this quarter. Quickly against Davis. Wasted no time on that one. Russell with it. He's got five. LeBron outside. And he banks in the layup. LeBron's got 15 points. LeBron taking over on the offensive end, getting into the teeth of the defense and making a spectacular play. Here's quickly. The shot will not fall. Nice D from Russell. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. LeBron outside. Pass to Davis. To the inside. Here's Hachimura. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Pass to Olenek. Back to quickly. And here is Olenek. 
He has five. Trains the three-pointer. For a big man, Olenek shoots it well, especially from downtown. For Los Angeles, they've gone 7 of 10 on their field goal attempts here in the third. You know, Greg, for the Olympics, basketball is a shared family passion. Yeah, I mean, Kelly's father was a coach, but his mom was actually the first woman to be an NBA scorekeeper. So he was raised around the game. For Los Angeles, they have had seven opportunities at the free throw line and made good on five of them. And he knocks down the first one. And he makes both free throws. Here's Barrett. Pass to Trent. Here's Abaji. Here's Quickly. Here's Olinick. And he converts the layup. Olinick's got eight here in the quarter. He's been a different guy here in the second half. His shooting percentage far better than it was before the break. LeBron James on the wing. 15 points in the game. Russell inside, quickly covering, and Russell gets it to go. A, a quick-minded player. Russell can adapt to defenses and put the ball through the hoop. Quickly the pass to Trent. He kicks to Barrett. And that's out of bounds. Toronto will retain possession. Dix checked in for Toronto. Bruce Brown comes in for quickly. And then for the Lakers. Hayes comes in for Davis. And it's Prince in for LeBron. Four on the clock. For three, Barrett. Barrett with another miss. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. Here's Reeves. 12 points for him. Offensive rebound. Some solid defense from Brown. Toronto's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Dick passes to Barrett. Here's Abaji. And he comes up with the deuce. And you see the passing instincts Barrett has. Great at recognition out on the floor. Here's Reeves. He's covered by Brown. It's good. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Barrett against Prince. And it's Barrett penetrating. And the layup's good off the glass. Barrett's got six points. And credit Barrett for his ability to be in control. Nice job keeping his composure there in a tight spot. Now, here is Russell. He's got nine. Misses from short range. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. And it's Brown missing. And really, that is why he is feared as a defender. Right in your face on that shot. Moved his feet. Timed it perfectly. That's how you get stops. Love it. It really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with the pass. Brown outside. And the shot goes down. He's got 12. A defensive breakdown there, no doubt about it. I mean, he's a guy you have to be focused on defensively. 
outside Russell dishes it to Prince back to Russell for three and again Los Angeles with a triple yeah how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half now here's Barrett he's got six now Dick there's the pass to Olenek lets the three fly Reeves with the rebound Reeves has got seven rebounds in the game Passes it to Hachimura. And then Hachimura with the jam. I love how under control Hachimura is. Able to push his way through the contact and score. Nice work. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Dick with it. And here's Barrett. Brown wide open. He fires. Good on the triple. Brown's got 15 points. Man, he keeps doing his part. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. Russell with the bucket. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Oh, oh okay, wow. okay. This guy is a fantastic athlete. Barrett looking like a man on a mission with that slam. Here's Russell. Good. Nice job down low. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Prince against Barrett. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's on D'Angelo Russell. And at 6'7", Barrett with terrific positional size, which allows him to create problems for defenders down low. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. He's off on the first. And Los Angeles with some changes. Reddish, he's checked in for Rui Hachimura. Christie comes in for Austin Reeves. And Dinwiddie's subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. And he's good on the second. It's interesting. No free throw attempts for him in the first half. He's finally pushing the action and reaping the reward. Brown against Dinwiddie. I, I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. And here is Los Angeles now. Dinwiddie outside. Porter knocks it away. And he's able to get it back. Shot clock at three. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Fantastic defense from Barrett there. It helps big time when he gives the hustle and stays home with his man. Here's Dick. Guarded by Prince. And the dunk by Dick. Okay, two hands for safety. That's that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk, no question. Pass to Hayes. There's 42 seconds left to play here in the third. Here's Christie. Scoreless thus far. Dinwiddie outside. Shoots the three. Porter pulls it in. Porter's got nine rebounds now tonight. Here's Brown. And then Brown with the dunk. 
That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. And so it's Dinwiddie with it. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. No good with the triple. Now, here's Barrett. He's guarded closely. With four seconds on the clock. Second shot opportunity. And no good on the last second attempt this time. And so it's Los Angeles. Finishing the quarter up by a whopping 24 points. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We come back right after this. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feed. Fundamental basketball. Keep your eyes up. Keep the ball moving. You're going to keep the defense on its heels. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. They've got Dick. Jalen McDaniels is out there with Porter. Then it's Gary Trent. And it's quickly in at the point. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Now here's Reddish. Takes it out to Dinwiddie. They get it back. And that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers retain possession. Raptors on defense. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Christie's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Lakers. Toronto with the ball. From deep print. And the three ball is good. And they're showing much more focus here in the second half. More effort as well. And their offense starting to show signs of life. Now here's Dinwiddie. 11 feet away. Davis. Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. That's what you like to see from the big fella, Anthony Davis, with the power finish. Porter finds quickly. And it's Trent in the corner. And there are the Raptors with another bucket. And after an abysmal first half from the field, the shot's now starting to fall. Inside, deflects the pass. And with some of the new rooting interest for fans, some concern about potential hostility for the players when great things don't go their way. I mean, there's a lot riding on the outcome of games and, and stat lines, and that's something the league has to take seriously, making sure the players are protected because the emotions can run rampant. Now here's Davis. Ice D from Porter. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That is his first foul of the game. Some changes for the Lakers. Hachimura, he's checked in for Reddish. Austin Reeves comes in for Christie. And D'Angelo Russell subbed in for Dinwiddie. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Quickly against Russell. Clock at six. And he drives in. Here's Olenek. They shoot again. Lakers with the rebound. Davis has got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Here's Hachimura. And the dunk by Hachimura. That's what Davis can provide for you. Gave his man such a great look. 
Trent passes to quickly. Over Russell. The shot's good from quickly. Clearly caught him off guard with that move. Not the guy you'd expect to bust out a spin, but it worked beautifully there. Pass to Davis. Hey, Smitty, in the playoffs, it's rare for an eighth or a seventh seed to make it out of the first round. But what about a five-game series for just those kinds of matchups? You know, one against eight and two against seven. You know, it wouldn't be bad, Kevin. We had those type of series when I first came into the league, but I don't think they would change since we have the play-in tournament. I think rounds one, two, the conference finals, and the NBA finals will stay seven. That one falls. Quickly's got 12 points here in the second half. Not just selling for something along the perimeter. Excellent job. On the wing, James. Pulled the shot a little up, but the bounce goes his way. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Now, here's quickly. The pass to Nora. There's another block. What a defensive performance. 12 blocks. Well, he's shutting them down right now. James right side. Here's Davis. Rebound by Olenek. The Raptors have gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Here's quickly. The rebound by the Lakers. James has got five rebounds tonight. Passes it to Davis. Back to LeBron. And James throws it down. LeBron is getting what he wants offensively, and the defense is searching for answers. Trent outside. Reeves with the rebound. Reeves has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. To the middle. And Davis can't get it to go. And what should have been a simple pass and finish ends up in a missed opportunity on that alley-oop attempt. It started off looking good, but the timing was just a little off. And sometimes that's all it takes. Now, here's quickly. Following the miss by Anthony Davis. Here's Nora. Nice pass, nice catch, and a resounding dunk. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Here's Reeves, defended by Trent. Pass to Davis. Over Olenek. They grab their own miss. And Russell gets it to go. Russell's got 13 points here in the second half alone. The Raptors have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. Now, here's Trent. Not a lot of room. Off with the layup. L.A.'s gone 1 of 2 from three-point range here in the fourth. James right side. Rebound by Olenek. Oh, Linux got rebound number eight now on the night. Dick passes to quickly. And one thing that came from this new CBA GA, mandatory participation in the NBA draft combine. Yeah, more equal access for teams to study various prospects. Player agents can't keep teams in the dark like in the past. That makes for a more level playing field. Here's Reeves after Toronto picking up the basket just moments ago. Got it. Number seven on the night. Seven for 11 from the floor. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focus and they've executed. He gets it in there. And that's 12 points for Grady Dick. That's how you set the table and everybody gets to eat. LeBron outside. Back to Russell. Good, and the assist goes to James. 
LeBron got his seventh assist in the game. Attention to detail is what's helped Russell improve his scoring ability every year. Now, here's quickly. Pass to Nora. Shot clock at five. Let's go. Dick can't get it to go. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for Los Angeles. An easy two points on the layup. Davis has got 10 points here in the second half. These are big buckets. He's been instrumental in helping them try to close out this game. Inside, here's Trent, and he goes in for the dunk. Getting high in the air, Gary Trent Jr. teaching the rim a lesson. Outside, Russell. And the pass to James. From outside the arc, the Lakers keeping it going. A new 14-second shot clock. And Davis puts it in. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Passes it to Nuoro. And the rejection by LeBron. Players we know get mic'd up now, Steve, so we can get some insight to their talking on the floor or on the bench. How would that have gone over in your day? Well, you know, Kevin, we got mic'd up. I did not like it. Uh, you felt funny having just extra stuff that you had to carry around. But I love to hear the communication that goes on in the game now, sitting on this side. Now here's LeBron. Outside, Russell. And it's Hachi Murray in the corner. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And when Hachimura is looking to score, it sometimes forces the D to get aggressive. Love the energy. The first one falls. Steve, wouldn't you agree the Los Angeles Lakers are one of, if not the most storied franchise in the NBA? Yes, Kevin, the facts prove it. The number one and number two all-time league scores both captured the record as Lakers. That's history right there. Catching up on the changes for Toronto. Porter's checked in for Olenek. McDaniels comes in for Gary Trent. And it's Bruce Brown in for Quickly. Hachimura hits them both. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Now here's Brown. To the top of the key, Dick. And the NBA said expansion should wait until after the new CBA. Craig, that's done, so what new teams? I mean, Kevin, it seems like Seattle's been waiting forever. Professional teams have been crowding in the Las Vegas, and don't sleep on Mexico City. A lot of potential fans south of the border. And, guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Brown finds McDaniel. Rebounded by the Lakers. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Now, here's Reddish. And they pick up two. We saw a lot of this from Cam in college. He seems most comfortable creating off the bounce. The Raptors shooting about 42% so far. 
Porter against Davis. He blocks it again, making his presence felt on this end. He's holding down the fort, anchoring the defense. And he lays in the alley-oop. No hesitation at all on the alley-oop. Saw his teammate with a pat to the hoop and bang, lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. A nice shot by Brown. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for Los Angeles. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And so they'll be advancing their win total to 42 games. And, and they've taken control of the season series. This brings them to 2-0 and o with one game left against this squad. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Davis. An all-around dominant performance. Only certain guys can do this. Complete control, three phases of the game. Congrats, a triple-double. Now here's James. Here's Hayes. Whistle blows, bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Taking no chances, they go on one last run to seal the deal. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. Hayes, no good on the free throw. And one outstanding thing the Raptors do, Greg, they really protect the ball. Yeah, even when they're not playing their best, they don't give away games with mistakes. They force you to find other ways to beat them. Now here's James. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth. Off target at the rim. To the paint, here's Obashi. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Great pass to set your man up with a high percentage look. James outside. Dinwiddie outside. Pass to Reddish. Pass to Christie. Kicks it out to James. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, LeBron. You got after it on defense. You look motivated. You know, I heard it all from, you know, is this the last that we've seen of LeBron and the fashion that he plays? And then defensively, um, you know, he's not very good defensively. But you can't single me out. You know, it will never be a possession where a coach or, or a teammate or a player on the opposing team will single me out defensively um, because I'm in tune with that side as well. So. You know, we got a lot of guys that play the defensive side, and it's important for me to be on that side as well and take that challenge just as much as offensive again. Seems like you took some words to heart, man. Thanks. Back to you. All right, David, thanks so much. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.
And now that we're late into the season, Grant, what do you think teams are trying to accomplish? Well, you know, B.A., for the playoff teams, it's all about getting the best seed and matchup possible. And, of course, for those lottery teams, just continuing to develop and build winning habits. And the Lakers starting five. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. It's LeBron at power forward with A.D. as the center. And it's Achimura in at the small forward position. Here's quickly. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago. And Davis with the block. Out of bounds as Toronto keeps possession. Trend left side. Pass to Olenek. Banked it in off the glass. Nice way to start the game. That's where you'd like to get your shots from. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for Los Angeles. James with the ball. Here's Reeves. Six on the shot clock. And he lays it up and in. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Barrett. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Russell. The Lakers on D. He was all alone on that one. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Reeves, the pass to Davis. Back to Reeves. To the paint. Here's James. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Easy to see how locked in LeBron is. Get some contact on the shot, but never even phased by it. Well, Grant, one of the things that keep Raptors fans positive is the youth that's represented on this roster. Yeah, they've got a great core, B.A., and lots of young guys on this team. But they're missing a star. Yeah, probably, but they can be dangerous. He's certainly been cold this quarter, guys, but trying to shoot his way back into a groove. Great start so far. Three of three in this one. Fighting through contact, not easy trying to corral LeBron when he's focused on scoring. Good luck with that. Barrett passes to Abaji. Back to Barrett. Drives to the hoop. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. He does not lack for confidence, and he shouldn't. I mean, this guy's a dangerous scorer. Russell deciding where to go with it. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Five of five to start the game, and it might be the second quarter before they miss the way they're knocking these shots down. Boy, everything's pure. Quickly passes to Olenek. Back to Quickly. Pass to Barrett. The three. Hits the trifecta. Barrett's got five points. I know Barrett loves to strike from the corners. He just trusts himself to make that shot. Here's Reeves. Now here's Davis. Outside Russell. Here's Hachimura. Is rebounded by Barrett. Toronto trailing. Pass to Quickly. First quarter of play, and just over three and a half minutes in, it's going to be on LeBron James. That's his first foul of the game. Quickly passes to Abaji.
Kicks it to quickly. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. And Davis slams it home. There's no stopping that. AD is too long and strong to bother that alley-oop. And Toronto calls time here. The Lakers beat them last time when these two met in Los Angeles. And obviously the whistles weren't in their favor the last time these teams met, and it cost them. They deserve a lot of credit for being aggressive, though. I mean, they got to the line a bunch because they forced the issue. And now that we have a break, let's take a look at the league's best rebounders. These are the real stats, real scores from the real NBA. In the third spot, Anthony Davis. Just so strong on the boards. That's a skill that helps your team win games. For Toronto, they've gone four of eight and looking in control. Pass to Olenek. Knocked away. And here's the fast break. Russell, the pass to Davis. That shot's good. Russell making the play. Hey, that kind of contact just not going to get it done against Davis. He's much too strong for that. Outside Barrett. Chalk up two there. Barrett's got seven points in the game. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Well, Grant, for R.J. Barrett, he pretty much knew he was going to be an NBA player. Oh, B.A., he sure did. And the number one prospect out of high school in Florida in 2018. Did his one and done in college at Duke and followed it up with the number three overall pick. And he has definitely delivered. The Raptors have gone five of nine from the floor. Trent on the wing. And the layup falls. Defensively, you just can't afford to give these easy looks up. Just asking to get burned if you do. Here's James. Coming off a 16-point game against the Pacers in Indianapolis. Driving to the basket. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot. And will go to the line. All right, guys. What do you think so far on the offensive approach for the Lakers? Getting downhill has really been impressive to me. Not settling from the outside. They're going right to the rack. Another area they've excelled in is the points in the paint. They've been able to gouge the interior defense so far in this one. James, no good on the free throw. Look, the physicality has always stood out with LeBron. It's been obvious, but his basketball IQ is what makes him such a special, special player. I mean, he sees the game like very few ever have. Davis. They get it back. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line.
And he drops the first. At his best, Davis is an MVP caliber player. One of the true franchise guys in the league. And so he hits both. He's one of the league's best free throw shooting bigs. A performance like this certainly proves it. Quickly with the ball. Right side Olenek. And Davis with the block. If you don't know exactly where Davis is, he's going to deny your shot. So you got to be aware of his presence. And Toronto has possession. Trailing by five. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule. Losing to the Knicks. It really just wasn't a fun game for them. Their offense looked stagnant and they couldn't get anything going. Yeah, they had no answer for them. They simply got outplayed and outworked. Trent shot is off. For Los Angeles, they've got 8 out of 12 shots to fall. And it's Kelly Olenek with the foul. That's his first foul of the game. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Yep, they'll be trying to draw that next foul quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the strike. Dick, he's checked in for Toronto. Russell finds James. Back to Russell. Over quickly. And it's Russell. That time on the assist by James. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. And Toronto calls time here. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh. Keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. Porter Jr., he's checked in for Abaji. And let's look at the Western Conference standings as the playoffs approach. Taking a look at Los Angeles, the season is winding down. They sit ninth on the outside looking in currently. When I look at the Lakers, they're really doing their best to rise through the rankings. Time will tell whether they can pull it off. You know, it's really hard to figure out exactly what's been missing, but there is something missing it perhaps could be the system they're playing in. Olenek passes to Dick. Rebound, the Lakers. Davis has got four rebounds in the game. Throws it up high! Ooh, the deft touch on the lob. Working it to the open teammate that time. Excellent awareness from Davis. And Barron has got the ball here for the Toronto Raptors. Nine-point game. Pass to Porter. Back to Barrett. The floater. Count the basket. 
Barrett's got nine points. Such a gutsy player. Barrett takes on challenging defenders in style and stays in control. And here's James. Shoots from 12. And again, it's the Lakers. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possessions. Now here's Barrett. He's got nine. And he goes in for the dunk. Big effort, big reward for Barrett. Just what a jam. Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G slam cam. Pass to Davis. Now here's Hachimura, guarded by Barrett. Tries again. And the basket by Hachimura. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. Those are free points you're giving away. You got to work harder on the glass. Now here's Porter. No points so far. Here's quickly. Some solid defense from Russell. So hard, actually impossible to cut into the lead when you have a guy struggling this badly. And it's good for two. His shooting has been fantastic, and this team has leaned on him. And it's the Raptors with the ball. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. And that one's good, quickly. He's just two for seven from the field, trying to work his way into a rhythm. Now Los Angeles with it. They're on a 14 to six run. Outside Davis, Hachimura, right side. Over Barrett, and that one's long. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds, and um, they look strong here in the early going. Can you believe him so far? Six for six. Boy, giving him a huge lift offensively. He's poised for a big game here. Here's Reeves. It's stolen by Olenek. Pass to Dick. Stolen by Davis. And they're running. He's all alone. And slam dunk by James. Davis is so long now. He's about 7'1 in height, but his wingspan is much more than that. Started the transition opportunity with the steal there. Now here's quickly. Barrett. Oh, he remains perfect. 7-for-7, seven seven, showing no signs of letting up. He's off to a fantastic start. He sure is. 7-for-7 seven seven already, and he just looks to be on a different level than everybody else right now. Hachimura against Barrett from 11 feet away, and he gets that one. I know it's early, but you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. High-octane action for sure. Crowd-pleasing already. Now here's Porter. Still no points. Some solid defense from James. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just uh, against his constitution. Here's quickly. A minute and a half left to play in the first quarter. James with a steal. Here's Russell. The shot comes out. Ooh, excellent D there from Quickly. And it's the Raptors with the ball. They trail by 11. Dick, the pass to Porter. The ball's knocked loose. Boy, that's finishing the defense there. He made a good effort on that possession defensively and then closed it out with the rebound. And finished off by Davis. They've shown so much energy right from the start particularly on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. Now here's Quickly. Pass to Dick. Quickly outside. Rebound, the Lakers. They're moving on after a tough loss they took at the hands of the Pacers. They just weren't careful with the rock. The passing was loose. The ball handling was lackluster. That's not how you win in this league. Well, you know, you got to take care of the basketball. Hopefully, they learn from that game and are better going forward. Here's Barrett. 
The Lakers getting their last shot to go. With the putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Already finding his spots and capitalizing, playing really efficient basketball. James against Porter. Achimura from long range. Here's Davis. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's going to go on Kelly Olynyk. Nice pump fake by AD. So good at drawing fouls. That free throw, good from Davis. Both free throws, good from Davis. Here's Dick. With one on the clock. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for Los Angeles. Oh, what a quarter. He was absolutely on fire offensively. More 2K action in just a moment. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. Guys, the Lakers enjoying a nice lead here. Simply put, they look totally fearless on the defensive end. Well, you know, the defense, guys, is just disruptive, active, and energetic, and you can't afford to be loose with the ball against these guys. And Grant, you talked about it early in your playing days, blaming yourself for the Pistons not winning. Talk about that pressure on the best player to deliver wins. Well, B.A., the pressure's real, and it's tough to keep perspective and just control what you can control. When you're tasked with leading a team to victory, you expect it first and foremost from yourself. We've got McDaniels. Gary Trent is out there with Bruce Brown, and it's Nora in at the power forward position. That's the group for Toronto to kick off the second quarter. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. And so it's James with it. He brings it up for Los Angeles. Outside Reddish. Hachimura against Trent. Hachimura in the post. And counted. Now four for nine. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle um, at their offensive end. Now here's Porter. No points yet. Pass to Nora. Out of bounds as Toronto keeps possession. Love the defense from James. When he's engaged and focused, he can block some shots, folks. Some changes now for the Lakers. Hayes is checked in for Anthony Davis. Prince comes in for James. And Christie subbed in for Achimura. Clock at six. Here's Trent. Christie with a rebound. Oh, gritty defense. Protecting the rim at all costs against a guy who has all sorts of ways to finish. Back to Dinwiddie. Pass to Reddish. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. Let's see some of the numbers here for LeBron James.
for Toronto. They've gotten only one of four shots to go in. Now here's Trent. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against New York. Another shot. The Lakers with a rebound. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. Uh, they've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Well, R.J. Barrett, the third overall pick in the 2019 draft, still a long way away from his prime. He said, quote, people think you should make this huge leap out of nowhere. And it's like if you just add one or two things to your game and just get better every year steadily, you are going to get where you want to go, whether it comes right away or it comes later. Brian? Allie, thanks. Dinwiddie passes to Reddish. And again, the Lakers, no good. For Toronto, they've got two of seven attempts to drop since the end of the first quarter. Brown looking around. To the inside. McDaniels passes to Porter. Trent with it. Hayes picks him up. Four on the clock. Dinwiddie against Brown. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Yep, you know, after a scoreless first period... He's really turned it up a notch, building some momentum. Brown against Dinwiddie. Great D that time from Porter. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. McDaniels finds Trent. Second shot opportunity. McDaniels can't hit. And the Raptors with some changes. Olenek comes in for Porter Jr. And Abaji subbed in for Nora. And the Lakers also making a switch. Russell's checked in for Dinwiddie. Well, the Lakers shooting an amazing 61%. Looking confident. Pass to Christie. And here's Russell. And he's been a big part of their offense, averaging more than 18 points a game. And there's the basket. And the whistle blows. Chance at a three-point play here. Going to the line for one. Barrett's checked in for Toronto. Here's Barrett. He's got 15. Pass to Abaji. Over Prince. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Oh, you look at the size of the contracts now. Clark, you wish you could still lace him up? Hey, it's all relative, B.A. Guys that played way before me probably felt the same way about the money we were making in the mid-'80s, so it's relative. But it is quite astronomical. But it is a function of TV contract revenue and also merchandising and other income from ticket sales and the like, and that number is humongous, and the players deserve a significant portion of that, and that's why... The math, as crazy as it looks, um, still works. And he knocks down the first one. The Raptors making a switch here. Quickly's checked in. And the Lakers also making a switch. Reeves is checked in.
And he makes both free throws. Now Hayes, still without a bucket. Pass to Christie. Here's Reeves, guarded by Trent. Reeves, the pass to Russell. And it's Kelly Olenek with the foul. That's his third foul so far. And that's the risk you run when you leave him in with two fouls. Here's Russell. Oh, his shooting remains on point. Three for four thus far. Boy, you look at Russell repeatedly making plays around the rim. His imagination and creativity allow him to do so. Here's Trent. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to go on Jackson Hayes. Heady play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there. He misses the free throw. And the second free throw is good. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. And maybe cause some foul trouble along the way as well. And we know what that can do. It pays off typically in good fashion for you. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. Abaji, the pass to quickly. Tread outside. Barrett with it. 15 points in the game. Five on the clock. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Yeah, the aggressive mindset of Barrett. Looking to score and force defenses into difficult situations. That free throw, no good. And with Barrett, we know he can score the ball. Now he must focus on becoming a better passer and facilitator. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. Rare sight. How often does he fail to capitalize at the line? Outside Russell. Somehow scores the layup in traffic. Russell's got eight points. So much confidence for a young player. Terrific move by Russell in traffic. Pass to Abaji. Quickly against Russell. And that one's good. Quickly. He has six. Love the energy on his drive. The defense didn't expect that coming from him. Here's Reeves, guarded by Trent. Here's Prince. Rebound by Olenek. Olenek's got five rebounds in the game. Hey, shot's good. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Russell against Quickly. 
Russell with the rebound. You know, he's been off tonight, off his game. At this point, he might want to focus on creating for others. Here's Hayes. Pass to Prince. Here's Reeves. Fires the three. He buries it from three. Reeves has got his second basket of the game. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. The free throw drops for quickly. Dick, he's checked in for Trent. He's perfect from the line this time. Now here's Russell. Give him eight. Pass to Prince. And a nice finish on the layup. And the Lakers lead by 20. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Quickly passes to Barrett. Quickly against Russell. And now a look at the upcoming schedule for the Los Angeles Lakers. On Sunday, they'll take on Ben Simmons and the Brooklyn Nets. Then on Tuesday, they're off to Toronto to face off with the Raptors. And you know for that matchup with Washington, that's a game where you'd be surprised to see them lose. They'd have to have a really off night for them to get upset there. The first one falls. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter. But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. And some changes here for the Lakers. Anthony Davis comes in for Hayes. And LeBron subbed in for Christie. And quickly drops them both. Here's Reeves. He's got five. Shot from 12. Here's Davis. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean... Strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Davis. Timeout called. The Raptors. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. <laughs> That'll drive your coach nuts. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now.
and they're the third highest scoring team in the NBA, executing at a high level. And just go back to their field goal percentage. They're a disciplined team. They run a smart offense. It's about finding high quality shots, maximizing their possessions. Here's a Baji. Pass to Barrett. Here he goes. James with the block. And so it looks like the Raptors will retain possession here. The Lakers making a switch here. Achimura's checked in. Clock at four. Sinks it from distance. quickly has got 13. You like how Barrett always keeps his eyes open, watching the court for those assist opportunities. Outside Davis. Achimura left side. Over Barrett. And it's Achimura missing. Well, I don't think he's performing up to his own expectations, but they still find themselves out in front. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Here's Reeves. He's got five. Out to the right wing. Hachimura, the pass to Russell. Back to Achimura. Launches it. Toronto grabs the miss. And after this one, they're at home against Philadelphia. And they're deep into this homestand. That'll be game four out of five. Abaji, the pass to Dick. Down low. Here's Barrett. And he gets it to go. He's 8 of 11 now. Boy, he's really been dominant in this one. Unfortunately, he hasn't had much help. Here's James. Look at LeBron with the strength to score through contact. Hey, I really like what I'm seeing from LeBron here tonight, keeping it simple. He's going to the hot hand, which is him. That's pretty good. Here's quickly. And his fifth make of the game in 12 attempts. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. Here's Reeves. Shots blocked. And so the ball's out of bounds. Olenek touched it last. Porter Jr., he's checked in for Toronto. Nora comes in for Abaji. Denwitty, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Let's it go from 11. Pass to James. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Reeves. Here's Davis. Oh, nice fake, but the layup's off the mark. Toronto's gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Dick, the pass to quickly. A minute 37 left in the first half of basketball. Here's Nora. From outside the arc. And the Raptors, another three. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Hachimura against Barrett. And it's Hachimura missing. I think he'll think twice about attempting that shot next time. The defense was right on top of him there. Outside Porter. Here's Dick. He's scoreless. The three, Barrett. Rebound, the Lakers. Davis has got nine rebounds now. There's 47 seconds left in the second quarter. Hachimura left side. Here's Reeves. 
And that's his third bucket at eight attempts. Toronto has gone two of five from distance here in the second quarter. Quickly with the ball. And Davis picks him up defensively. They retain possession. Porter's shot is off. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Davis, the pass to James. 12 seconds left in the half. From deep. The shot won't fall. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers now holding a 12-point lead at quarter's end. We hear teams talk about wanting to get the ball inside, but this is how you do it. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. LeBron James had it going on in the first quarter. He had 20 points, two steals, and three assists. And taking a look at the Lakers, Shaq, what'd you think? You guys know I appreciate when a team takes a commitment to attack in the painted area. When you get those high percentage looks, good things tend to happen. That's how they built this league. Kenny, let's get your thoughts on the Raptors. Well, it's never fun. Man. When you're playing against a team that's on fire. This team was on fire. They showed effort on defense, but it didn't matter. They couldn't get the stops. I don't think the opponent could sustain this kind of shooting. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You know, LeBron James has been exceptional here, guys. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of Here's Trent. And so in the game for Los Angeles, it's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. And it's Achimura in at the three. Count it. Wow, he was just wide open there. That's way too easy. And for the Lakers, they're shooting about 56% in this one. Russell against quickly. Pass to Achimura. Fades away. Got it. Achimura's got 10 points in the game. Toronto's gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Now here's Trent. Over James. Offensive rebound. Here's Abaji. James with the block. Out of bounds as Toronto keeps possession. Pass to Abaji. Six to shoot. Over James. This isn't how they wanted to start the second half. Only one of four. Abaji can't hit. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. And Davis with the block. To the left side wing. And finished off by Davis. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Now here's Barrett. 
17 points in the game. There's another block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. Puts it up off the inbound. And it's quickly. That time on the assist by Barrett. Quickly's got 17 points. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of three in the second half. Here's Russell. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Despite the wiry frame, taking it up strong inside, and D'Angelo will get free throws. And the first one at the line is good. You know, Russell's known for his scoring ability, but I like the fact that he's eager and hungry to continue to improve. And both free throws good for Russell. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. And here is Barrett. Right side, Olenek. Shoots over Davis. Rebound, the Lakers. Davis has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And they're plus five on the boys after that rebound. Here's Hachimura. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got three assists now in this one. For Toronto, they've gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Two for eight. Time called here. The Raptors decide to talk it over. You got to like what we're seeing from LeBron James. At some point, you have to try and force the ball out of his hands. But that's easier said than done. Brown, he's checked in for Toronto. And they are in the top 10 in steals. This is a team that will force turnovers if you're careless with the ball. And this is a team that loves to play at a breakneck pace. Once they get the ball, they're looking to push the pace. And they are the best in the league at converting in transition. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Now there's an example of good defense beating good offense. James. Oh, man, oh, man. Oh, what a punch that was. Bad mm. intentions. Mm. Mm. It's clear that Davis loves to put on the show for the fans, and putting on the show is exactly what he's doing. Now here's Brown. He's got six. Second chance shot, and he sinks the layup. Brown's got a... He got in excellent position, then takes it right back up. Here's Davis. Rebound by Olenek. Olenek's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Barrett. Rejected by James. 
Hachimura against Barrett. Here's James. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. The Raptors making a switch here. McDaniels checked in. And the Lakers also making a switch. Reddish is checked in for Reeves. That free throw, good from James. We've gone about three and a half minutes here into the third. Reddish against Trent. Fires from 14. Brown. Tip back in for two. Brown's got four points now in the quarter. That's a pure effort play. Nice tip in. And that's a skill you see in any strong offensive rebounder, isn't it? Definitely. You're not going to make plays like that unless you expend the energy. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Now here's Trent. He's got five. The shot that time, not on target. Nice D from Reddish. And his struggles have been apparent. Unable to make an impact score in the ball. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. So, Brian, this is year three with coaches in team-branded attire, and you ask them, they're in no rush to go back to the suits. The Heat's Eric Spolster said, quote, there's so much less to think about. I used to hate those dress shoes. The Pistons' Monty Williams said, quote, none of us can dress. That dry cleaning bill is gone, and you can pack in one bag. <laughs> Brian? Hey, that sounds pretty good, Allie. Thank you. And the Lakers with some changes. Hayes is checked in for Anthony Davis. And Prince is subbed in for Achimura. 11 feet out. And James gets it to go. James has got 25 points in the game. Yeah, more points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Here's Abaji. Poke loose. Shot clock at six. He drops it from range. Oh, Lennox got seven. Boy, a big man with great touch from deep. Always a valuable commodity in today's game. Now James. He's got 25. And he makes it. You can tell LeBron values getting quality shots because he knows how much they're worth and he's willing to fight for them. Now here's Trent. Looking to get back on track. It's Hayes with the rebound. This has not been his best quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Lakers. The way they've been able to consistently get past the defense and to the cup has been most impressive. They've almost made it look pedestrian. And another thing that's impressed me has been their consistency with their two-point jump shots, getting it done from the mid-range. That free throw, good from James. And really strong at the line since the break. No misses yet. Uh, you can't do much better than that, guys. Dick, he's checked in for Abaji. And so he makes both from the line. And Brown has got the ball here for Toronto. Pass to McDaniels. Here's Dick. No made baskets yet. The shot no good. Good work defensively by Russell. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. Good on the bucket. Clutch buckets. He's paving the way as they hit the home stretch. Toronto has gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. 
Trent outside. Pass to Dick. Back to Trent. From behind the arc. Hits a three-pointer. Trent's got five points in the quarter. Defensively, got to close out a little faster. That's a look he'll make with regularity. Here's James. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Oh, phenomenal hustle. He has a knack for those boards. Man, he is tenacious when that ball goes up. That's what they've got him out there for, fellas. Now here's Brown. He's got 10. Trent with it. Shot is good. Off the back rim and in. Trent's got 10 points in the game. The defense had him confused early on, but he's responded in the second half with some assertive play. Here's Prince. Toronto grabs the miss. Here's Dick. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Here's McDaniels. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Great job setting him up. The timing of the pass was key. Russell, the pass to Hayes. Inside. Here's Brown. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by James. And some changes here for the Raptors. Porter Jr., he's checked in for Olenek. And Nuora subbed in for Trent. The Lakers also with a sub. Christie's checked in. Here's Dick. Outside McDaniels. Six on the shot clock. And again, no good by Toronto. The Lakers shooting 61% for the game. Knocking them down. Russell, the pass to Hayes. Blocked. Now here's Porter. Pass to Dick. Here's Nora. And he gets it to go. Nora's got his second basket. No need to risk a shot from range when you can take it inside. Russell against Brown. Here's Reddish. McDaniels with some nice D. Might like a do over there. Quality look inside. Here's Dick. Yet to see a basket. Outside, Brown. He takes it in. Basket's good. You know, so far he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. Russell against Brown to win the drought. And Russell with the lay-in. Russell's got nine points now in the quarter. Well, I tell you, Russell looking very comfortable taking on aggressive defense and getting the job done. That's good focus on his part. Now here's Brown. 12 points for him. Pass to Nora. Here's Dick. The 2K leaderboard featuring the best shooting team since the break. The Lakers, number one. This is a hot offense. Recently, they've had no issues getting the ball in the hoop. The first free throw is good. Quickly is checked in for McDaniels. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Dinwiddie comes in for Russell.
And that's good as he hits both shots. The Lakers shooting about 60% for the game. Here's Denwitty. Lays it up and banks it in. You know, in that first half, a lot more three-point shooting. Since then, though, they've dialed it back. Quickly against Dinwiddie. Pass to Dick. From the right block. Christie with a rebound. Outside Reddish. Nora grabs the board. And despite a struggle scoring the ball, they've done enough to build this lead. Quickly, right side. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Quickly's got four points this quarter. And so Dinwiddie will bring it up for the Lakers. One nineteen left to play in the third quarter. Pass to Davis. Back to Dinwiddie. Five to shoot. Top of the key. Offensive rebound. Outside Reddish. Goes back up. That shot missing. Great D that time from Porter. Toronto's gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. First and points off the break. And also, they're in the top half of the league in points off turnovers. Quick to get the ball up court when an opposing player coughs it up. And this is a team that loves to play at a breakneck pace. Once they get the ball, they're looking to push the pace. And they are the best in the league at converting in transition. First free throw is good. Reeves is checked in for Los Angeles. And both free throws good for Brown. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. Yeah, you know what? And I think they've just got to keep on keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. Now here's Dinwiddie. Quickly with a rebound. 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Cashes it in from 11 feet. Quickly's got six in the quarter. We've got 22 seconds left to play in the third. Here's Denwitty. Porter pulls it in. Porter's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Dick. No good there. Tremendous effort. Defends the shot and gets in perfect position for the rebound. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers in control with a 16-point advantage heading into the break. They hold a real solid lead right now. Love their approach tonight. Back to the game after this break. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And the Lakers have possession. 16-point lead. 
Gary Trent is out there with Emmanuel quickly. Then it's R.J. Barrett. Then it's Kelly Olynyk, And it's Abaji in at the four-man position. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Toronto's gone five of ten from beyond the three-point line in this game. Let's a floater go. And it's quickly with a miss. And the Lakers shooting has been great. 57% and finding ways to score consistently. And Davis gets it to go. Davis has got 20. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Abaji. Up and in on the layup. Wow, he really fires up his team with his ability to extend possessions. And it's the Lakers' ball. It's an 18-point game. Dinwiddie against quickly. Now here's Dinwiddie. Defense is right there. Deflected! And they'll keep possession. Offensive board. The Raptors have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Oh, man. Exploding to the rim. Yep. Makes the simple play. Yeah, he still made it look good, though. Quickly against Dinwiddie. Reeves the pass to Dinwiddie. And a little over a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Blanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. And sometimes that's the best policy when you're going up against a big guy. Take it to the 10. Right at him. Get to the rack. Now here's Olenek. Pass to Abaji. Puts it up. And the Raptors getting another bucket right there. And so Dinwiddie will bring it up for the Lakers. 16-point lead. Here's Davis. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Dinwiddie. 22 points for him. Watching Davis do work like this is special. Dinwiddie against quickly. Now here's Trent. He's closely guarded. Can't cash it in from close range. Here's Hachimura. Here's Davis. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. Over quickly. Missed it, even after all of those chances. Every player goes through this. When your shots aren't going down, it can ding your confidence. Here's Barrett. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. Yeah, just a great job by Barrett. Pounding it inside and getting to the line. And he makes a first. James is checked in for the Lakers. D'Angelo Russell comes in for Dinwiddie. Good on both. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. James outside. And it's Toronto with a rebound. Barrett's got five rebounds tonight. Trent on the wing. Rebound, the Lakers. Here's Reeves. Pass to Davis. And the shot goes down. Davis has got 24 points. And I tell you what, AD is able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call weight room. It's blocked. And he's able to get it back. Olenek with the ball. Second chance effort. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Davis has got his 16th rebound on the night. 
James outside. Pass to Reeves. Hachimura outside. Six to shoot. Tries again. Davis with the bucket. Getting it done inside. Davis has got eight points in the quarter. Nice putback on that follow from Davis. Was just determined to get that rebound. Olenek finds quickly. Good work there as it goes. Give him 23. The Lakers have gotten six of their 13 shots to go. Outside Russell. Pass to Achimura. And here's Davis. And here's James. Just five to shoot. There's the drive. And it's good. Two points. James has got 13 points here in the second half alone. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. Pretty clear. It's smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. Now here's Barrett. Back to quickly. Tries a 10-footer. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. The Lakers have gone 7 of 14 here in the fourth from the floor. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. It has got to be terribly frustrating to deal with Anthony Davis when you're guarding him. I mean, he, you try to get physical with him. Um, you don't give him a clean look, and he still winds up with the bucket and the foul. That free throw, good from Davis. And the league looking to curb how much the top teams can spend. Stricter financial rules now in place, Clark. Yeah, I like the salary cap. Its theory is good and well-intentioned. Um, I think it does um, help the small market teams a bit. A lot of teams didn't like how certain West Coast teams were spending. But I still think there's room to give teams the option to exceed limits if they're willing to pay the consequences for doing so. That free throw, good from Davis. He does not get the second one. Toronto has gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line in this game. Quickly passes to Olenek. Quickly against James. Now Barrett. And they pick up two. Barrett's got four points now in the quarter. Yeah, and this is the kind of score Barrett can be. When he's playing to his strengths, he can catch fire. Russell against Quickly. Russell the pass to Achimura. Now, here is James. From downtown. Kept alive. Here's Davis. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Davis has got 18 points now here in the second half. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They should continue to ride the hot hand. And the foul called on Emmanuel quickly. That's foul number two for him. Well, Clark, the Stars may be extending their primes. But on average, the NBA is becoming a young man's game. Well, I don't think that's going to change. I mean, the demands of the game make it a young person's game. By percentage, the league has half as many players in their 30s as it did in the 90s. It's faster paced. It's more demanding. There's more movement. There's more wear and tear. I think it continues to favor younger legs. 
inside offense almost seems too easy for Davis, but it's not. I mean, you have to have a lot of confidence, strength, and skill to score against that kind of defense. Now here's quickly. Outside Barrett. Over Ashimura. And there's Barrett on the assist by Quickly. Quickly's got four assists in the game. And I love the confidence from Barrett. He enjoys finding room inside and capitalizing. Here's Davis. James up top from 12 feet. Misses off the left iron. For Toronto, they've gone just 6 of 14 in this final quarter. Here's Abaji. Check by James. Quickly. Sinks that one from the post. Quickly's got four points now in the quarter. There's a touch of artistry to the floater. Takes feel as much as skill. Here's Reeves. Out of bounds. It'll be Toronto's ball. And even when you've got some room for error, you hate to see this. Miscommunication resulting in the turnover. So Toronto going with almost an entire new group here. Porter Jr., he's checked in for Olenek. Nora comes in for Abaji. McDaniels is checked in for Trent. And it's Brown in for Quickly. And Barrett has got the ball here for Toronto. Outside Porter. Back to Barrett. Rebound by the Lakers. Christie's got five rebounds in the game. And per the most recent CBA, players now get to share in the league's licensing revenue, Clark. Yeah, you know, without superstar players, the league wouldn't make as much in licensing. I was glad to see the two sides come together on this issue. It's a delicate one, but I think they landed in a good spot. That one goes in. And staring at a sizable deficit, the defense has to tighten up. And if it doesn't, this is only going to get uglier. I mean, that's no way to defend a player of his caliber. That one's good. Seven for ten now. Man, he's on fire. Playing patient basketball, not forcing shots. Brown against Russell. No good on the shot. Nice D from Brown. Toronto has gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line in this game. McDaniels passes to Barrett. The floater. It's Hayes with the rebound. And for the Lakers, they're shooting about 56% in this one. Robbed! Oh, no. He may have gotten injured right there. Man, he's in a lot of pain. Yeah, so tough. I mean, guys, I feel bad for him and the whole team. I hope it's not as bad as it looks. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, this is why you build out your depth as best you can. I mean, you just never know when injuries might show up. A big group substitution here for Toronto. Olenek checked in for Porter Jr. Abaji comes in for Nora. Dick, he's checked in for McDaniels. And quickly subbed in for Barrett. And some changes here for the Lakers. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Hayes. 
Prince comes in for Reddish, and Reeves is subbed in for Christie. Quickly against Russell. Here's Abaji. And a lot of NBA players and former players are getting into film production. How rewarding has that been, Graham? You know, B.A., storytelling is so gratifying and also so very important. Players do have a voice like never before, and these ventures are just another way of expressing that voice. Now here's quickly. Pass to Abaji. Quickly outside. Here's Abaji. Takes a three. Davis with a rebound. James with the ball. Here's Prince. That one's good for two. Boy, nice strong finish that time by Torian Prince. Toronto's gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Here's quickly. And Reeves pulls it down. Reeves has got four rebounds in the game. 149 left in the fourth quarter. It's James on the wing. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Brown's got six rebounds here tonight. Quickly drives in. And he jams it home with authority. A brilliant dunk. And he hangs up there for a while, too. Like he's posing for the camera. He's just hanging out, posing for pictures, just making himself at home. Either that guy's or he wanted the photographers to get a good shot of him. Really hard to think of things they didn't do well in this one. Certainly a dominant night on offense for the Lakers. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. After coming away with this W, this will give them 42 wins on the year. And with just one game left to play between them, they've captured the first two meetings of the year. And believe you me, they'll be gunning for the sweep in that third meeting. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Anthony Davis. Well, I love the force that he showed on defense, using all of his length to deny shots. He was their anchor tonight. And the Lakers have possession. The Raptors making their last shot. To the middle. Here's Davis. And finished off by Davis. They really came in with the right mindset today. I can guarantee you their flight home will be filled with some smiles. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exits. It's nice they found their rhythm here, but the clock is just not their friend. Now they're playing with urgency, huh? They could have done it much earlier before the game was out of reach. Pass to Davis. Over Olenek, Davis, that's good. Davis has got 38 points. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. And it's quickly with a miss. And so it's the Lakers easily grabbing this one. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. Now, shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. And that about wraps it up for Ali LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.